Hello guys, in this video I'll explain you how to export a database to Excel. It is too easy. The file calls CSV. This is the project of Mini Excel. We have done this app in, in past videos. You will see other the other videos. It calls how to do a mini Excel. Part 1 and part 2. Also, you could download the, the project. Okay, in this video, we will export this database to Excel. It has three data. Okay, the part of export will be in, in this app. And you could get the, the idea the idea to, to do it in, in your other projects. Okay, go to the project. This code is all, all the code of the of the past app. And now we just do only the part of, of export. So when button export click, we need a notifier. It calls export. And we use a show text dialog. If you don't know which are the notifier in, in design, the buttons are this and the notifier is this. This is the button and this is the notifier. Okay, in blocks. The message will say will say put the name for the CSV file. It will save on SD card the name of the file that CSV. In the title, we put um, export. And also we put a cancel button. Okay, this is all for, for the button of, of export. Now on the notifier, we put um, this after text input. Okay, first we put a, a local variable. Which we I will call x. And I put the value of one because the the list of, of this app starts in one, not in in zero. Index one, index two, index three. Okay. Okay. The first thing I will aggregate will be the the titles. For this, we need a a file. In in design. Here. Design is here in in storage. Here in storage, and this is the file. Okay. It let us to do a, a text file. We will program the the Excel file in form of text. So in file, we use this uh, append to file. In file name. We put a, a join. With three strings. And the text, the extension of the final is that CSV. And uh, the start is a uh, diagonal. And the name is what response have. In, in text, we put uh, another join. To add a data, it needs to be in apostrophes or quotes. Each file um, 
and separating with a commas. For a jump line is with a diagonal and N. The first data is the quotes. Here we put uh, four four strings. The first data is the the quotes the apostrophes. And the comma. Here is the comma. And inside the quotes, we put the uh, variable. In this case, uh, in this app, is title one because there we insert the files. And the join is the same for for the others for the other titles. So we put another join with four strings. And we copy this for title one, two, and three. In here is title two is here and this title one here and the last file don't need a, a comma here because it's the the last file. And in the last file of the of the join, we put uh, a diagonal n for the jump line, but is the is backslash backslash n and space. Okay, now all the data of the of the list. Um, I will use a a while cycle. Well, and here's the well. Well, test, and the condition uh, equals. Um, the variable x. X. Uh, x. Okay, needs to be less equals. To the total files of the of the list. For this, we use the the length of the list. Length of the list, and here is it. It returned the number of of values of of the list. In this case, how the list has the same number of the data. So it doesn't matter what list do we put. Okay. Copy this and here now are the lists. Here now are, are the list, so we delete the these titles and on lists we put uh, select list item Here is the list one and the index is the counter that is the X. We couldn't add the complete list uh, because if we add the, the complete list, it will show in one row, in one line. In this app, we save the data in columns. And if we put the, the complete list, it won't have columns, it will only have one row. So 
that's because we need to separate texts and divide with uh, commas. So we copy copy this and we modify the variable lists here for list two and list three. With this, each file will take uh, from the same index in the position one of the list one, uh, other data in the position two, and other in the position three. And then we'll, it will do a jump line. And it's yeah. Okay, now we increase the, the variable. We put a set. The X and uh, the math is zoom. Okay, it's the X plus one. It's done. Okay, X plus one. Okay. With this, the file will edit, and you could select um, the name. When we click on export file, will appear the option uh, to you to put the name, and and will save on the SD card. Okay, I recommend you one thing. Here in, in file, it's a, a delete file option. I recommend you to before you start uh, before you start uh, you delete the file because if the database has an error and you export uh, the database, it will duplicate the database. For this, we put, we copy this join and put it on here. And that's it. With this, the file will delete and also will create uh, one new file. Okay, this is all. Now test the app. Okay, this is the app. Here we have the data. I will delete one to show that it works. Okay, so in Excel we show the the same that we have in here with name, last name, ID, okay. Okay, on export CSV, it appears the message, the name will, will export. Okay, we put the name. Export. Name will be export. Okay. Okay. And now the file has been exported. I will pause the video to pass the file to my computer to open in Excel. Okay, here's the file. It's called export.csv and it opens in Excel. What you see is the same data that we have on the app name last name ID okay this is all don't forget to see the the other parts of the video any question please post it and I'll align where and also remember that you could download the, the project I explain how to download in the in the first video so don't forget to see the, the first part and also the second part, uh, how to do a mini Excel. Okay. This is all, guys. Bye.